Welcome to the Life Overhaul Podcast. I'm Julie Nygaard, host of the show and also author of a book called Life Overhaul. What are you waiting for? If you've been following along, I'm reading this book chapter by chapter so that if you don't want to buy it, you don't have to. You can just follow along, do the exercises and work at overhauling your life. Usually what I do is interview people who have gone through significant life overhauls so they can share their stories and strategies with us. But I'm taking a breather now to read the book, which is brand new. It just came out in June of 2020. So hopefully if you need that kind of a resource in your life, you can grab that on Amazon. Also, if you haven't been following along, you want to grab a notebook because there are lots of exercises to do. In this particular chapter, there aren't any. And in fact, I'm not even going to read the whole chapter, but I'm going to read the beginning of it and the end because the middle is filled with quotes of brilliant minds. That's the name of the uh, chapter. It's called Connect with Brilliant Minds and basically showing you that we have access to all kinds of amazing people in the world, even if they're not in your life directly. And I just wanted to point out that they all kind of say the same thing. I might read a couple of the quotes, but it's just a few pages of quotes. So you can see that no matter what era, what time, what country, all of these people are coming to the same conclusion. So I'm just going to read you the beginning, maybe a couple of quotes and the end of the chapter. So this is going to be a short podcast, but go look for your own quotes that are meaningful to you, that connect with you, that resonate inside of you, because it's good to be able to have something to live by or something to identify with. And like I said, these brilliant minds, they're all coming up with the same conclusion, and we could learn a lot from that. So here we go. Chapter nine of Life Overhaul, Connect with Brilliant Minds. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. As quoted by Eleanor Roosevelt. Referring to the above quote, which type of mind do you want to be? We become the people we spend time with, the books we read, the actions we take, and the things we talk about. Why not make a choice to connect with brilliant minds? You may not have a host of these type of people around you or even have access to them directly, but through books, quotes, interviews, and other forms of media, you can create a team of extraordinary people who inspire you. The following list is a collection of quotes from some of the most accomplished minds of our time that I found on a quick internet search. When you read through them, you can see that they're all quite similar, yet they were quoted in different countries and in different eras. Great minds are all coming to the same conclusion, and once you've read through them one after another, you'll see the message. Success is not final. Failure is not fatal. It's the courage to continue that counts. Winston Churchill. If you really look closely, most overnight successes took a long time. Steve Jobs. Success is not the key to happiness. Happiness is the key to success. If you love what you do, you'll be successful. Albert Schweitzer. We'll just do one more here, then I'm going to skip to the end, and you can look up your own quotes or check out the book and see all the ones that I have here. This is one of my favorite ones I'll do as the last one. I failed over and over and over in my life, and that is why I succeeded. Michael Jordan. Not something you would expect to hear from Michael Jordan, but he took more shots than anyone else, so he had a chance to fail more often. When you read the quotes one after another, it's much easier to see the similarities in great minds than if you read them here and there and over the course of months. There are common ideas and philosophies that every successful person not only knows, but has also put into action. Be passionate about what you're creating, work constantly toward it, and let failure be a way to learn lessons and not stop you. There are thousands of quotes on the internet, just like those listed above by people who have already done what you want to do. Do your own search for the quotes that are similar to your goals and put your team of brilliant people together. Keep reading them over and over until your mind aligns with their ideas and successful change must come to you also. That's it for chapter nine. Like I said, there's a whole bunch of quotes in there, but I didn't really want to read them. I didn't think they would be that entertaining on the podcast. Go find your own quotes, right? Get your team of brilliant people, even if you don't have them around you. We have so much access now to everything in the world, essentially. 
Whatever you're trying to do in your life, I wish you the greatest success. And I hope that this podcast and all the other people's stories that have been on it and the book and the tools that you put together truly help you to create change. And I say this kind of at the end of all of these. I think it's scarier to stay in the same place than it is to overhaul your life when you know you need to make a change. So best of luck to you. And I'll catch you on the next episode of the Life Overhaul podcast.